啊。أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نويت الأربعين نويت الاعتكاف نويت الخلوة نويت العزلة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد Today we will end up this series also it's long long can continue more might be three or four volumes like this so we'll end today here, inshallah, tomorrow we will speak briefly about different levels of awliya, that whatever has we have spoken this month on these issues of zikrullah and the best of characters, it is the description of these awliyas lives, how they live their lives through Zikrullah and through Maqam al-Ihsan. And these awliya are not like regular people in physical life, yes they are, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them something to their heart. As Prophet Sallallahu said that Allah has given Sayyidina Abu Bakr al Siddiq something in his heart. Ma faddal Allah Abu Bakr al Siddiq li shay'in waqara fi qalbi. That something has been waqar mean ground, uh, was grounded or took root in his heart and this and this was explained as something beyond description that Sahaba were wondering what is that and they knew later that it is Zikrullah he was always remembering Allah by making his tongue and his heart Balanced in his in zikrullah, different kind of zikr. One day, Prophet ﷺ mentioned his hadith, his famous hadith. Allahumma la taqinni ila nafsi tarfat aynin, ola akalla min dalik. Oh Allah, don't leave me to myself for a blink of an eye. Or less. What is less than a blink of an eye? How many blinks per minute you have? You know? Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, Sony. <laughs> at least, at least, there is between 20 30 blinks per minute that your eye close and close and open yani around at this is at least must might be more prophet saying Allah don't leave me to a blink of an eye he wants to express to people at that time what they can understand from a blink means it's so quick a blink of an eye means it might be two seconds. Every two, three seconds you will have a blink. So that blink of an eye, if I keep my ego to myself, 
I will fall down. Oh, and he is asking, this is Prophet Wasallam saying that he is the seals of messengers and he is infallible. Infallible. Ma'asum. No sins. Say, oh Allah, don't leave me to myself. Allahumma la takinni ila nafsi tarfata'in. Don't leave me to myself for a blink of an eye. Or less. What is less? How much less? Might be less he knew. The Prophet knows everything. Allah gave him the knowledge. He knew in the future a second can be going a fraction of a second. As science is discovered today that if you go around 10 to minus 22 of a second, it will come energy. No time. Time disappears. Means, oh Allah, don't leave me ever to myself. What about us? When he heard this hadith, Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq, Look, the, the, the way they act and react is completely different of what we do. Hearing a hadith, he did something. For us, we hear hundreds of thousands of hadith, they are the same. Huh? Not you. You are higher. I'm speaking about myself and Sahib. <laughs> so what we will have, never, never we change. Donkey can be changed, always his ears are weak. Huh? Maybe we are donkeys. Long, e- long ears. He, uh, he is the ears. <laughs> uh, we never change. We hear, we hear, we hear. Same, uh, it's the same. Taba. Okay. What you have been uh, raised on. That is your photocopy. Taba. Taba. Has too many meanings. I, I, I'm talking about shay- photocopy. We are we are printing. We are a cup, a photocopy of ourselves. We never change. Whatever being raised from childhood. That's why don't spoil your children from childhood. Give them what they like. No. Give them what they don't like. Today everyone gives his children what they like. They are the boss. You are nothing. You are uh, the shoe. Shoes? Shoe in French better. <laughs> Say H-O-U-X. X. Shoe. <coughs> well, what's in English? Cauliflower? Yeah. Cauliflower. <laughs> Be a shoe. Not English shoe. French, French shoe. English shoe, if you become an English shoe, shoes, yani, an English shoe, your level is high. Means surrendering. Because the shoes, they surrender. You throw them left, you throw them right. They don't complain. Yeah? Just now, I, we were speaking a little bit, you jumped up of anger. No? Before. This is our characters, not with all of us. So, Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq immediately he jumped and disappeared. He took a stone, put in his mouth, went inside Kaaba, hiding himself and crying. There is someone here cry every morning selling ice cream <laughs> when he's crying 
when he is crying and saying, Allah, you know why? Oh, Allah, don't make a black out of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> or my ice cream will melt and I lose today. So he's crying because of that. People, they think he's crying for uh, too much uh, love and sincerity. Oh, no. It's still far. Ice cream. Huh? Ice cream. Ice cream. All these ice cream, lollipops, ice cream are going to melt. And what I'm going to do, I go to the store. I will not find anything, everything coming out of the store. Uh, flooding the street. <laughs> Where is he? He's hiding, huh? A cry now. <laughs> so Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, what he did? Put immediately a stone, went inside Kaaba, he appeared hiding himself. They were looking, 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 and then the Prophet وسلم, went to the camera. He knows where he's here. He said, Oh, Ya Abu Bakr, what happened? Allah called you Siddiq, why you are crying? Seven days you are crying. Seven days you didn't come. Why you are crying? He's crying and crying until Prophet put his hand, his holy hand on his between his shoulder, calm down, like a cool breeze. When Sayyidina Ibrahim was in fire, Namrud put him in fire, <coughs> Allah made that cool breeze, Bardan wa salama ala Ibrahim. Allah made it the fire like a frozen area, like a fridge, and peaceful. It was feeling like cool breeze, like 19 degrees centigrade. How much in 69? Uh, Around 69 Fahrenheit. Very happy inside this boiling fire. So when Prophet put his hand, all this fire inside his heart, that he was crying, it's it's extinguished. And he said, Ya Abu Bakr, why you are crying? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I know you are the seals of messenger and Allah gave you shafa'ah to intercede in the day of judgment for people and you, Allah didn't you have you are infallible no sin and still you said oh allah don't leave me to myself for a blink of an eye and you are the seals of messenger and what about us what about me what will happen to me if my ego if if i keep loose my ego for a blink of an eye or a less it's for two seconds. What two seconds? Tick, tick, finish. Count two seconds. No. So quick. How many, how many times shaitan comes in our hearts in a second? At even two seconds, because he said, and less. So, he said, Ya Abu Bakr, Allah mentioned you in Holy Quran. إِذْ يَكُونُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعْنَا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذ أخرجه الذين كفروا ثاني اثنين إذ هما في الغار إذ يقول لصاحبه لا تحزن إن الله معنا 
فأنزل الله سكينته عليه وأيده بجنود لم تروها وجعل كلمة الذين كفروا السفلى وكلمة الله هي العليا والله عزيز حكيم He is the second of two He and Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in غار الثور when they were going from مكة to مدينة He said, he made you my friend. No one took that honor except you. Say now, Bakr was elder than Prophet in age. And he called you Siddiq, a Siddiq al Akbar, the greatest Siddiq, the one that accepted. He used to say to Prophet, everything he said, no question, Sadaqta Ya Rasulullah. He said the truth. Sadaqta Ya Rasulullah. He said the truth. He make you Sadiq. He make you Siddiq. He makes you trustworthy. He said, Ya Rasulullah. If in the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Ya Abu Bakr. He will call me and judge me. Say, Ya Abu Bakr. Yes, I make you Siddiq. No? I made you Sadiq. I made you the second to be in the cave. Now, now I'm changing. Now I'm changing. Can anyone interfere? Huh? Object? Can anyone complain? No. Can anyone object? No. Even wh- wh- whatever he said about me in day of judgment, Allah wants to change. What will happen? This also means, Ya Rasulullah, Allah gave you shafa'ah. If Allah changed in the day of judgment, what will happen? Allah will never change. What He gives, He gives. But this is for us to learn. So Prophet was sitting with him, begin to cry. Both of them crying now. May Allah bless his soul. Grand Sheikh was telling, always telling this story to show how much we are we in, we are in need to increase our behaviors and our love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If Allah will change, no one can. So we are in in a gray area. Don't know what will happen. With our amal, for sure, <coughs> the way to hellfire, punishment. But with Allah mercy, for sure, to paradise. So Prophet begin to cry, Awakna Siddiq crying, and like rivers coming from their eyes. Allah let them to cry both. You know why they were crying? Every drop of tear that came from the eye of Prophet, huh? because tears coming from eye of Prophet more than Abu Bakr and Siddiq was some a, a present a human being. Prophet cried on behalf of all Ummatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until that number is finished, Allah sent you will stop. It's finished. Means all those drops represent an individual and that individual under Shafa'atul Nabi. Ya Allah, go to paradise. From that time, we are written in paradise. If we say, La ilaha illallah, say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Walladina ma'ahu ashidda. Ashidda. Muhammadur Rasulullah. Walladina ma'ahu ashidda. Wa ala al-kuffari ruhama'u baynahum. 
تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا سيماهم في وجوههم من أثر السجود ذلك مثلهم في التوراة ومثلهم في الإنجيل كزرع أخرج شطأه فآزره فاستغلظ فاستوى فاستوى على سوقه يعجب الزراع ليغيظ بهم الكفار وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منهم منهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما محمد رسول الله الله ثابت إن هولي Well, Ladina Mahu and those who are with him are against their, their own nafs. Kufr here it has many meanings, but one of them is against their own nafs. But between themselves, they are merciful. So on themselves, they are strict, but on others, they are mercy. This is teaching for us. Be tough on your ego. But be merciful with everyone else. Then that one else, he has to be tough on his ego and merciful with you. So it is a vice versa. It's a balanced equation. You cannot be on your ego loose and the others are not loose. No, whatever you like for yourself, you like for them. So you be on your ego strict and like for them mercy. And Allah gave the same thing to the people of Injil and the people of Taurat. Allah mentioned also for those who are believing in the Bible or believing in the Taurat of Sayyidina Musa and the Bible of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. So, and Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq crying, crying, crying until he stopped by order of Prophet when all these Naqshbandi, because he represents all Naqshbandi's followers, all their number passed, all these drops from his eyes, that will be the number of the Naqshbandi's. It is under the safety of Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Muhammad And Jibreel came and said, Ya Rasulullah, Allah send you salam. And say, as there is no change for my lordship, that I am not changing what I gave to you. So they have sak of bara'a, sakul bara'a, certificate huh? of innocence from safety of. Sa- Certificate of Innocence, Bara'a. Do we have something like that? If we have not something like that, then be happy. <coughs> Keep smiling and laughing all your life. But if we don't have that, we need to keep worried. We are, wor- we are worried what will happen to us. So, it is not only uh, reading, uh, we read hundreds of hadith, nothing. What you, what changed in you? What in change in me? What changed in you? Nothing. Where, wh- how you can have a change? You are sick, your body is infected. What you take? Take an injection <coughs> of antibiotic or pills, whatever there are. The only thing that change you and give you healthy is you need an injection to inject something in you from outside. It is, it is not coming from inside. You cannot, you cannot have tablets without moving your hands on your tongue. Yeah. Can you have? 
You cannot have an injection with your hands holding together. And that injection has to come from outside. When it comes from outside, it has an effect. When it comes from within you, still you have ego. doesn't affect. So sometimes they don't give antibiotics, they give antibiotics and cortisone. Yeah? If you have something difficult. So who can... من يمكن له تعيين أو وصف ما تأخذه who can diagnose or prescribe what you need you need a doctor so what سيدنا عبد القادر جيلاني said I quote that from him he said العلم يؤخذ من أفواه الرجال لا من الصحف Knowledge means that injection has to come from Afwah al-Rijal, from the mouth of men who reach manhood. Huh? Also ladies, they reach a level of manhood. It's not, not, you cannot say no. So means anyone reach the level of sainthood, he is able to diagnose your sickness and prescribe for you what you need of an injection. And it has to come from outside. It's not from inside. And they, that's why he said, Al-ilmu, knowledge, yu'khad, will be taken min afwahi rijal from the mouth of men. لا من الصحف Not from papers. You cannot take it from papers. You have to take it from their mouth or their eyes because they will send on you and you cannot continue or explain that there is no time. They send on you علم اليقين عين اليقين حق اليقين the reality of knowledge they give you an injection and that injection goes into your body raise you up to the level of knowledge عين اليقين then they raise you up another injection to the level of vision you can hear you can see then Hakul Yaqeen, then another deadly injection to the ego, raise you up to Hakul Yaqeen. The reality of reality, certainty of reality. No more anymore there, question about Tawheed. Because you are, it become a, a, a certainty in your understanding in your love, on your heart, in your mind. And you know that everything in this life point to a creator. No, no more hesitation or doubts. Finish. And it has many different levels that has to go, might be in the future. So he said, don't take it from papers. Aulia can use paper, but they have to, to sit with you and diagnose you and prescribe for you. That's why they came with awrad. And in every, in every tariqah there is a different awrad. Because the sheikh of that tariqah went through that way. That's why we say every sheikh has his own way. Not all ways has to be to intersecting. This one has his way, this one has this way, this one has this way, and moving. So every tariqah has its own awrad, its own methods, its own techniques. And in our Naqshbandi tariqah, there is a certain way we follow, and from sheikh to sheikh in the chain, they can change what they like. 
because it depends on the time they are in and what is coming different might be different from the one previous that's why I said it many times that Grand Sheikh I never saw him giving bay'ah to anyone but instead I'm seeing Mawlana Sheikh Nazim giving bay'ah at anyone to anyone at, at any moment even by phone and we are not oh, we are now going putting on internet bay'ah on internet But, this is his way. Depend on the time. It goes to him. So don't take it from papers. Take it from whom? From the mouth of Aulia. They will guide us. Who are these men? He described them. He continues saying, من هؤلاء الرجال he's telling his students in الفيد الرحماني he said رجال الحق the man of truth المتكون as sincere they have taqwa التاركون those who left dunya, they let it down. Al-Warisun, those inheritors from Prophet wasallam, knowledge. Al-Arifun, those who they reached the level of Ma'rifatullah, level of knowing. Man arifa nafsahu, faqad arifa rabbahu. Knows himself, who knows himself, knows his Lord, they reach that. Al-Mukhlisun, Al-Amilun, those who act on what they are, they know, not like us, we sometimes, Morana say something, we don't act on it. Al-Amilun, then Al-Mukhlisun, Mukhlisun, they are sincere, they are Mukhlis, means Mukhlis, straight, on the straight path, not changing, never changing of what Allah made them to be. Rijalun. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rijalun sadaqu ma'ahadullah alayhi fa minhum man qadha nahbahu wa minhum man sadaqu ma'ahadullah alayhi kept true to their promise they never changed do it change all the time yeah. they never changed لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم. We are changing every second. Getting older and getting worse. <laughs> what سيدنا أبو يزيد البسطامي أبو يزيد البسطامي said. He said I respect the young one and I respect the older one. He said why you respect the young one? said because he has less sin and why you respect the older one because he has more ibadah means I'm I'm the worst because everyone either younger than him or older than him so rarely to find two people on the same uh, age in a village or a city now because there is this globalization of the earth that they say you have you can find lot of people on the same date they were being born but in a city or a village you don't find that don't sleep open your eyes because if you sleep then I sleep truth so men who kept their promises with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
و ما بد دلو تبدیل نبرد چینج and they are waiting the time that they go so they are not changing all their lives whatever they are on they are on are we changing yes they are not changing and he said ما هو غير ذلك فهو هوس وباطل anything as of what we have described anything of as of what we described is hawas hawas hallucination and batil false hawas means it's not only hallucination is obsession yeah obsession you want something you need it you don't want to let it go you don't want to let dunya to go you want it always who doesn't want dunya to go who who wants dunya to go no one you want dunya then you are obsessed by dunya when you are obsessed by dunya this is batil this is false so what he said he said al wilayah lil muttaqin the sainthood means if it is not obsession and false means it is true and right and those who are muttaqin god worry worry god where god worry god fearing god fearing god fearing god worry Aware of Blackberry. Weary <laughs> <laughs> of the Lord. W- okay, that's where we can understand. Weary of the <laughs> of their Lord. So those who keep their promises are those people that they are they are Allah gives them dunya and akhirah. It's not their their ham, their what they only think about is dunya. No, they think dunya and akhirah. Allah said, "Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi akhirati hasana." Give us in dunya good, and give us in akhirah good. So this is first level, the the first level of showing. truth to Allah and to be true one and when you go higher you drop dunya only akhirah you go higher you drop akhirah and you want only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, who can do that there are saints awliya they drop dunya even other than muslim monks in monasteries in shrines they left dunya correct or no they left you think what allah is going to do with them we leave their judgment to allah we cannot judge anyone we judge ourselves but there are people who left dunya because they want to be truthful with what they believe as muslim we believe in allah and his prophet so we have to keep our way and our tr- uh, truth to them in order to be saved Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. That's why he said, أَبْعِدْ نَفْسَكَ عَنِ الشَّهَوَاتِ Keep your ego or yourself away from shubahat, doubtful, gray areas. And desires, and shubahat and shahawat. Shubahat is the gray areas, 
don't go there wa shahawat means bad desires keep yourself away from them wa awid nafsaka akl al halal and teach yourself to eat halal what's halal here it's not speaking about the meat here yeah. he's speaking uh, eat from your sweat eat from what you achieve means work don't be lazy Allah doesn't like people who are lazy anyone lazy here? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Allah doesn't like people who are lazy you see many people are you working? I lost my job. You lost your job? Okay, I have a job for you. Go to the masjid. Clean it. Rub the toilets. Keep yourself busy. Don't sit at home like a chicken. Huh? Show, show aman. Show work. Like in, in Europe, they have this uh, government aid to those who have children and they have no work. So what they are doing now, they become machine of children. <laughs> so they bring children and they take money. So this is business. <laughs> Keeping themselves busy. Not lazy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You? Huh? It's confirming. <laughs> no, don't be lazy waiting until the job open. Show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are not lazy, you are working at Lil Halal to eat from your sweat. Even you take from this person something he is he's selling, go to this person, sell it even with its cost price. Show that you are getting sweat. Allah will open for you. But sitting and wait. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Why are you waiting? I'm waiting. Okay, do ibadah then. If you are not working, do ibadah. Do something. Sitting all the day on the TV or eating ste steaks. Huh? Hamburger. Wahfaz batina kabil muraqaba. And protect your inner self and yourself by meditation. Don't say meditation is not existing. <coughs> and this is, this is, uh, what's his? Abdul Qadir Jilani is mentioning that. <coughs> A'zam. He is mentioning that. Keep your inner self, your inside, your in. Batin. Always in meditation. Always in muraqabatullah. If you have no work, okay. Take a sheet, sheet of uh, uh, cloth. Put over your head and sit. Eight hours, because you are not working eight hours, that eight hours for Allah makes zikr. When you are working, what you do? You work. <coughs> Let's say from eight hours you work six hours, and two hours you play. Make six hours, Ibadah. Allah will be happy. On top of the eight hours that you are having them for Ibadah, show interest so meditation will lead you to think about yourself what you are doing and you can make an account audit yourself audit your ego and then he said وَظَاهِرُكَ بِاتِّبَاعِ السُّنَّةِ and your outside that people see inside people they don't see this, this is between you and Allah make meditation Outside, where people can see, you follow the sunnah of Prophet If you love Allah, follow my sunnah. 
Allah who loves you. When Allah loves you, you you are lucky. At that time, you will get the right inspirations. That is not fuzzy anymore. Can show you a picture. You can begin to see, you can begin to hear. Don't say I'm not hearing anything. I am in Tarika 20 years. I'm not hearing anything. If you are not progressing so much, you came to a limit. There is, might be a small veil. Break it. You don't want the Sheikh to break it for you. You break it. Because if you break it, they take you from that lower level all the way up. But if the Sheikh break it for you, he will keep you at the lower level. So that's why Awliyaullah and Naqshbandi Tariqah, they don't open that. They don't break it for you. Because they know you will be happy in that level, you stay in it. They have a choice of one time to break for you. There are no choices for two times. So they want you to break it, then pull you up. At that time, قَدْ سَارَ لَكَ خَاطِرٌ صَحِيحٌ ومصيب. At that time, you will have a right inspiration and sahih wa musib means musib, yani it's hit the right. Huh? Right, on right on target and correct. At that time, tasuhu laka ma'rifatullah. At that time, you will be allowed and you will be able and it's accepted for you to to know about Ma'rifatullah, about divinely heavenly knowledge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. Amen. That's why Imam Ash-Shazili said, At-Tawheed Sirrullah. To keep the oneness of Allah, make to do the zikr by Allah and La ilaha illallah is the secret of Allah. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allah say who? He is the unknown, known by his name Allah, but he, he is one, unique. At Tawheed Sirullah. That concept is the secret of Allah. Wasidku Sayfullah. And to be to say truth, the truth is Allah's sword. You will be given a spiritual sword on yourself, on your ego. <coughs> Not to go and fight the innocent people, blow yourself, kill many people. For what? Kill yourself first. Kill your ego. And the support, <coughs> to support the sword is by Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and bless us and support us. Wa min Allahi tawfiq and give our shaykh long life and give us long life to see Mahdi alayhi salam and Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Hurmat al-Hariri, Hurmat al-Fatiha. in the office one or two prepare everything uh, Haq will come and bring me mm -hmm. yeah,